Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Joni Young and I'm going to be showing you step by step how to paint this pumpkin house. So let's go over the materials we're using today first. We've got a 12 by 16 primed canvas. I primed it once with acrylic gesso. This is white and I let it dry. And now I'm going to just get the canvas a little bit wet and then we'll start coming in with our colors. So to wet the canvas, I'm going to use a number 50 filbert brush. Just take a little bit of water and this just helps slick the canvas so that the paint blends over it a lot easier. Now, if you happen to add just a little bit too much water, you can just dab a little bit of it off. Just like that with a little towel. If you have too much water, the paint won't even stick to the canvas at all and it'll be too transparent, watered down and lack color. Okay, so now I'm gonna start with the background color first. I'm gonna be using Prism Violet and Thalo Blue and a little bit of white. Now because I've got a big area to cover, I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of each color out directly onto the canvas. And then a little bit of the phthalo blue. And I'll come in with white in just a few minutes. So just gonna spread it all around. Start picking up that blue. And we're not out to make the background all the same color. It's kind of nice having a, a little bit more blue in some areas and a little bit more purple. And then in those other areas where both of them mix together, we'll get a few other tones. I'm going to take just a little bit more of my purple because there's so much blue here and I want to add a little bit more depth down here and make it darker. A little bit of titanium white here and I'll just pull a little bit of this onto my uh, dirty brush I haven't cleaned it off yet and I'm just gonna start creating these wispy looking clouds just by swirling really just want to create these S lines Sort of a ribbon effect and you can add as much as you want or as little as you want so it's pulling in and blending into the purple and the blue that we've got making for some really pretty soft tones i'm just going to take a smaller filbert now this is number 30. i'm not going to wet my brush because the canvas the paint is still wet and i'm going to take a little bit more white and start layering over here. I love these whimsical looking skies. I think they just add so much fun to a painting. We could add a little full moon right about here. And all I do is just take that white twist all around to make a nice big circle or an e more of an even circle. And then we'll have our pumpkin. I'll just outline it right now before we dry this off. Our big pumpkin house. Right here. 
And you guys know how I like to paint uh, cottages and tree houses and all that fun fairy tale type of stuff. Well, this is the first time, the very first time I'll be painting one like that, but as a pumpkin. So this is something I'm really excited about. So let's just get some practice in here first before we add the actual colors and all the other details. Just when I start showing you guys the lines that we're gonna be making for the pattern, all those lines that pumpkins have. Now you can add fewer or even a little bit more if you want, but you wanna make sure you have enough space in between for the lighter colors. And then we'll be adding uh, probably a little staircase around and some cute little windows and a door and a stem, of course, with lots of curly vines and whatever else I decide to add along the way. I'm just painting this intuitively right now. I have not sketched this out or, or pre-planned this. I like painting live for you guys like this. I think it adds a little bit more excitement as well for you guys. And I think it's just more exciting for me too. It keeps it really fresh and new. Okay, now I'm gonna dry this off and then we'll start coming in with our next layers. Okay, so it's all dry now and you can see how everything looks a little bit darker. And I can come in now and add a little bit more to the moon. So I'm gonna use a smaller brush this time. I've got a number nine filbert brush this time. And without getting it wet, I'm gonna create sort of a dry brush effect here with just a little bit of white. Now the dry brush effect gives me those little pockets of the darker shade showing through underneath. That's gonna help this look more like a realistic moon that has the shadows and uh, some of those craters showing the shadow patches, the highlights. So another way of applying it to make it look like that is to add, load your brush just with a little bit of white on the bottom and then turn it over. And I like to place my thumb and finger here and then my finger on the top and then just drag really lightly. Add a little bit more. I want it to be a little bit brighter around the edges. And then just pick a few spots that are gonna be brighter. Then, I think that looks pretty cool, pretty realistic. And then I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna leave a little space. I'm gonna get as close as I can to the moon without touching it and just create a little soft ring. And add a little bit of a little bit of water to my brush and just a tiny bit more paint. Just using the white. And then I'm going to continuously go around and around. If you want to enhance some of these uh, swirls in the background you can. I think it looks pretty like that and nice and soft so I'm, I'm just going to leave that but I am going to take just a little bit more of the white and I might have to add a little bit more later on when it dries because it may dry a little bit darker. Okay now I can take some white and I can start to come in between these lines. We're going to do this in white first. I'm 
I'll use a little bit of water. We're just going to push up on the top like this and make it a little bit rounded. And this is where the silver brush comes in really handy. A little bit more water. Now, you know how I'm always telling you guys to if you're having trouble and you're feeling a little bit intimidated or overwhelmed on what you're painting try to break it down what you're painting into a simple shape something that it may look or resemble so right now i'm looking at this and for instance they remind me of little bananas so instead of stressing out about getting all the lines just perfect just tell yourself you're painting a bunch of bananas and each banana is going to have a darker line on either side, separating them from the next one. And then we'll put one more. Bring it around the side like that. Make this one a little bit fuller. Okay, now we'll work on the stem and I like my stems to be um, really whimsical and curvy and swirly so I'm just gonna do a little something like that we'll come in with the other colors after and give it um, more of a twisted look. You know, they have those lines and they kind of pull and twist around. So the colors I'm going to be using for my pumpkin are neon orange and neon yellow warm. I'm going to use a just a little bit larger filbert this time. This is a 16. I'm going to get it a little bit wet. And I'm going to take a little scoop of each color. We're going to go over top of those lines. These are transparent paints that I'm using. So they're great. They make for a great filter. And the blue lines are going to turn into more of a natural color for the lines and the pattern on our pumpkin. So if you just take a little bit of water. You can use them as a filter. So see how we have different variations of tones in here looking very natural.
Okay, and I'm gonna take a little bit of white this time. And where it really pops out here, I'm gonna add a highlight. This is gonna make it look a little bit 3D. Okay, and I'm gonna get a few darker colors to work on the stem. I'm gonna be using olive green and a little bit of purple. And I'm gonna be using a round brush. This is a number two. And I'm using this brush because I'm working on something that needs a little bit more detail and it's nice and small and I can have control over making the lines that I need to with this brush. I've chosen green this green so I can mix it with a little bit of that yellow and orange and get more of that natural stem color and I'm just going to paint it all this color first And then I'm gonna take purple and a little bit of orange and green, and I'm gonna make a brown color like this. And I'm gonna come from this side. In between, I'm gonna take a little bit more purple just to make this darker in between the top of the pumpkin, those lines. And I'm gonna go start right here and then pull it over. And I'm gonna start to twist and pull. Give it that twisted look. Then I'm gonna come back into the green, orange, a little bit of white. A little bit more green. Okay, you can come back in now and add that darker layer. And I'm gonna start from here and then pull. And bring it up into those twists. And then we're just going to pull them over a little bit down here. And I like using this brush because I have this really narrow tip to it. Giving me that control that I need to get into a narrow space and create the narrow lines that I need to.
I'm going to come along the bottom here and just start adding a little bit of color with my purple and my green. We're going to start to make this pumpkin look like it's nestled in here and we're going to turn it into a home, a cozy little pumpkin cottage type of home. Now I think I can add another layer of orange as well. Now that this is dry, I'm going to go into and use another filbert brush and pull my orange. Again, get a little bit of water. And we can start working on the windows. I'm going to have a cute little round door right here and I'm going to paint it, outline it with my purple and green mixture. Then I'm going to paint the inside white and I'm going to actually come in with some turquoise. I think that would be really fun. And I'm just pulling lines down so that it looks like wood. We'll make that look a little bit more flat on the bottom. We'll let that dry and we'll start painting some windows. Uh, you could do the white first if you want or the outside part if you want and I'm just going to do this in order. I already started with doing the outline so I think we'll have maybe another little one right here. You can make it a little square, a triangle, or a little one like this. Add some white. So a little window, and we'll add more details, shadow, highlights, and everything else after. I just want to get the initial layout of my windows. Now, and maybe we'll have another one right here. And oh, maybe another one right here.
Zadám dotyk. Some shutters. I'm just going to switch over quickly to a flat brush. This is a number six, and I'm going to take a bit of white. It's got a nice flat end so I can come in and square up these shutters. A little highlight on the peaks up here. Now while that's drying, I think it would be fun to add a little staircase somewhere. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll add, I'm going to start it in white just so that it can really show up here. Then I'll take a little bit of my orange, green, white. And I'm thinking I'm going to add it right over here. I'll start. So it kind of goes around. The other side of the pumpkin and maybe we've got another door back there so I'm going to add another layer of this light color make it show up a little bit better I can have a little bit of this color down here too. We've got a little bit of light. Okay, then we can come in and add some shadows. So green and purple. Take a little bit more purple. I'm going to turn in my brush this way, taking that purple. I'm just going to add some lines here in the door. Then a little bit of a shadow. So I'm just pulling and flicking. 
from the top and the bottom and the side a little bit. Now I'm going to take white with orange, make a really bright color. And add another highlight. And I'm applying it partially on top of the existing one and a little bit above. We'll just follow through down here. Dry brush out the existing paint out of my brush. It'll probably just kind of disappear and dry darker. Um, but it does add just a little bit of softness and light there. So we can have a really fun, um, wavy railing here, like a vine or something. So I'm going to take my purple and the green, and I'm just going to start coming around. I'm adding that there. And we could add a few little lines. Take a bit of white this time because that'll brighten up my green. Okay, and I'm going to switch over to a little mop brush. So this little mop brush right here, and I'm going to create some foliage on the side. So I'm going to use my purple and my green. We'll start at the bottom where we're just going to tap our way up. And then over, and then it just disappears. I'm gonna come down here and start adding some bushes. This needs to dry a little bit more before we can come in and add some more fun colors. Okay, for my foliage down here, I'm gonna use a little bit of phthalo blue. Take a little bit of turquoise. Just going to start tapping the two together. I've got a little bit of white on there, but that's all right. Then I'm going to start adding some bushes in here. And this is when it starts to get fun for me. Even more fun. I'm already having fun, but I love to start adding these fun colors. I'm going to add some around here. Got a pretty tree. Have some coming and wrapping around the staircase as well. Okay, 
and then I'm going to take a little bit of white and start to add some highlights. A little bit more. I'm just going to pull and click down here, just really gently. And just overall soften everything when you kind of pull that wet paint Gives it a weeping willow, kind of a haunting look, but pretty at the same time. I'm just going to sweep up a little bit of that color along the side too. For a little bit of a glow and a shadow. And I'm going to add a tree trunk in here. For my tree trunk, I'm going to use Luminous Neon Violet with more phthalo blue. And this is going to give me a nice dark color. Use my round brush to make the tree trunk and branches. Just in case you guys can't see this gorgeous color. Just mix it up, get it deep, almost like dioxazine, but I don't know, it's just the most beautiful shade of purple. And I'm going to start down here, push, wiggle, and get some neat tree roots. I haven't let the paint dry. I'm going right over it while it's still wet. This will give me a few more lighter tones as they kind of graze over one another. I'm going to use this to outline the door. And add a shadow and more contrast on the windows as well. I'm going to add a line right there, a line there, there, and there, just for a little bit of more of a decorative window, and then I'll come down, follow that line down, and then one right across.
be a little bit of a shadow on the shutters and under the window. I'm having so much fun. How about you guys? Let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying this one. And if you want to see more Halloween tutorials of mine, I've got quite a few. So check out my playlist. And right from the top here, I'm going to pull down some more lines, I'm trying to go over those existing ones. Take a little bit of this dark color. And just enhance this area a little bit more. A little bit more shadow right at the top there. As well as down here. And if my shadows on my stairs are looking a little see-through, which they are, then I can go back and add a little bit to my stairs as well. I'm going to take some of my turquoise light mixture here and add a highlight on some of these branches. And I'm also going to create sort of a twisted look to the bark on the tree. Just by twisting and rolling my brush as I'm pulling. I can take a little bit more white so it shows up against those bushes. I'm going to take some turquoise now. And we can just start painting inside our door.
take a little bit of blue so it's a bit darker on this side. So it's more in shadow along there as well as the bottom. And the top. I'll take a little bit more of that violet and blue mixture and a little turquoise there as well I'm going to make a sort of a neat squirrel design in the turquoise and white. Maybe they're little vines. We can add a little handle on the door. Oh, let's put it right about there. Then I'll take this dark color, I'll add a shadow, Then a little bit of white there on the door handle. A little bit of olive green, white. For an extra highlight. Now I can start coming in and adding some color to the shutters. I like the turquoise because it's pretty with all the other colors. But you guys could definitely use or paint yours whatever color that you want.
and take a little bit of white and add that to my turquoise. I'm gonna apply it here in the middle section of the door. So it looks a little bit lighter and has a bit more of a glow. Maybe just to tie everything together, we could add a little bit of turquoise to the stairs. And I'm adding it right between the highlight and the shadow part of the stairs. Now I need to add some nice bright light inside these windows. So I'm gonna use, um, I think some neon yellow. I haven't used this one yet, I don't think. Not today anyways, I know I did yesterday. I've just been painting up a storm lately. But then I'll have a nice long break and then start all of my uh, winter and Christmas themed paintings. Okay, so I've got the neon yellow with the white. Careful not to take any of the turquoise. You want to have more white than yellow. Otherwise, it's going to look green once it dries. And I'm just going to carefully come inside and add little dabs. We could add a little bit of this yellow over here as well. And a little bit here on our vine. Let's just go ahead and add a little bit right here to the outside. We'll give it just a little bit of a glow from that moonlight. And then we can go around the moon a little bit like this. And just add a little bit of color. Oops. Just gonna take my flat brush to get more of a smooth look. And 
I think it would be fun to add a few little window boxes here. So I'm going to take that blue and I'll just add a little rectangle. Little rectangles like that. Maybe a few little lines here for the shutters. And then we can add some green, take a little bit more of that, maybe a little bit of turquoise, just to green that up a little bit more. And we'll add some flowers or something here. I'm going to add a little highlight, the foliage. Add a little bit over here as well. So we have a little mixture of warm green tones and cool green tones. Be a little bit more generous with my neon yellow cool it'll dry a little bit darker and uh, look a little bit more green than what it looks like right now i'm going to add a little bit here to these window boxes and then i'm going to tap down so it looks like there's flowers and vines dangling down I'm going to use some of my Luminous Neon Rose for the flowers and a little liner brush, some white, Let's kind of make it swirly looking. I don't want it to be a little hair in there. Don't want it to be a solid color. And we're just going to add little dabs. A pumpkin house doesn't have to be spooky or scary looking. It could be quite cozy. You can make it as scary as you want it to be or as friendly and pretty. Okay, we've got some flower pots full of flowers down here. We'll add some flower pots in just a minute. And let's add a little bit of that yellow as well. A little bit of that neon yellow.
Okay, so I'm just looking at my palette here and seeing what color I can make for my flower pots with what I've got here already. And I can take a little bit of this green and orange, some brown, maybe use that luminous rose. Just make a nice dark color. And I'm gonna do a little circle like that. And then a little shadow on the bottom. And we'll add a little highlight by adding some white. Little tiny scoops just to make that stand out a little bit more. That dark color that we used for the flower pot and just add some hanging vines in here and just a little bit of a shadow in this area I'm almost done I think it'd be fun just to have a few little uh, light hanging. So I'm going to take a little bit more of my white and I'll add that right there. And I'm going to do a few little dots like this. And then just push. Make a little glowing light. I'm just going to make a few different sizes. And a bigger one right there. We'll create a little glowing haze around them. They're going around a little circle. And I'm able to make it look kind of dry and see through like that because I don't have a lot of paint in my brush. Paint just a tiny bit here. A little bit of that neon yellow. And we'll just add a little bit of this. Enhance the color just a little bit more. Maybe they're little pumpkin lights. A little bit of yellow in here. And then just a little bit of white on the inside. So a little bit of that warmth. A little bit of that warm color. Kind of 
laying down here somewhere. Soften that shadow a little bit. Okay, I think I'm going to call this painting all done. This was such a joy to paint and share it with you all. I can't wait to hear what you think of this one and see your versions on our Facebook group. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join Patreon for more. Have a wonderful day, happy Halloween, and happy painting. Bye, everybody.